Spring skiing is in full effect for closing weekend at Loveland. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. It's the Friday of closing at Loveland, and we want to know, will you keep skiing into summer? Peter from Longmont has 17 months straight, and he's going to keep the streak going. Probably Jones Pass, do some hike and skiing up there, try and find a few places that we can hike and ski. So. Veronica from Denver will double dip when she can. She's going to go rock climbing this afternoon. We're climbers too, so I think we're going to shift over to that sport once skiing season is done. Glenn from Evergreen is done after today, and he's going to end on a high note. Give me a break. It's like 60 degrees out here already. It's a beautiful, warm day. Last day at Loveland is this Sunday. Breckenridge closes Memorial Day, and a basin goes through June 6th at least. Two teenagers were airlifted to Denver after a late-night crash in Kremlin this week. Sky High News reports the passenger was ejected from the car after midnight on Wednesday when a Mercedes crashed on Highway 40 outside Kremlin Mercantile. Both suffered serious injuries. Police believe speed and alcohol were factors. Town of Breckenridge is partnering with the FERC and Building Hope for a nonprofit campus on the north end of town. This partnership was announced yesterday as need for service surges at both nonprofits. The campus will be on three to four acres near the new Alta Verde housing project on North Airport Road, provided to them at no charge, with openings for other nonprofits. A bottle of water in Denver this summer will cost you more than in Philly, San Francisco, and most of Texas but not nearly as much as Virginia Beach, LA, and New Orleans. Travel company Halidu just compiled a state of bottled water report comparing prices nationwide. Average price in Denver is 83 cents in the top 10 cheapest. Water at Virginia Beach will run you 159. That's the most expensive in the US. The latest now on coronavirus and what's opening as usual. Silverthorne and Breckenridge Recreation Centers are open to the public again with no reservations required. Face masks are still mandatory. Bars and clubs are serving again with no last call limits and offices can reopen to all employees based on vaccination rate in the office. About 74% of Summit County is partially vaccinated today, 60% fully vaccinated. Summit Medical Center is at 38% capacity. In sports, the Rockies face the Cardinals tonight at 6.15, the Nuggets play the Jazz at 7, the Avalanche face the Kings at 8. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency, Summit High Girls Soccer opens the season today with Eagle Valley away. Boys lacrosse is in Vail for Vail Mountain School. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.